Hello and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony and we're going to run through how to upgrade a Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. So here you can see that I'm currently logged into a Windows Server 2016 data center uh, version 16.07. Now if I look at the up current updates, I am I'm absolutely as far up to date as I can get. That's really important when upgrading to a newer version of Windows Server uh, because part of the upgrade process can depend on recent updates. So after we've got our updates, we're going to open up this PC view. And in the DVD drive on this computer, I've got uh, the Windows Server 2019 um, ISO. So I'm, I'm on a VM, so I've just connected the ISO file to uh, the disk drive here. And if we just open up here and run the setup.exe, so you can decide whether or not you want to download the latest updates. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to select the Not Right Now option to save us some time. So go ahead and click on next. Uh, the next thing you want to do is to uh, enter in your product key. And so I'm going to enter in my valid uh, server 2019 product key here. And then select whether or not you want to install the server core edition or the server with the desktop experience. I've currently got the server with the desktop experience. So I'm going to leave it with that. Click on next and read through the license, of course and decide whether or not you agree to it. And this option is much like the recent option in Windows 10. Uh, you can set it to keep the personal files and all the applications that are already installed on this server, uh, or you can just have it completely wipe server 2016 and reinstall server 2019. Now, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the option of keeping the personal files and apps and click on next. And it runs a few checks in the background just to make sure that your server is compatible. And then this last option here lets us review uh, what we're about to do before we do the server 2019 install. And then it'll jump into the installing Windows Server 2019, which may take a while. So we'll pick this back up once it completes. And like it says, it'll reboot a couple of times along the way. All right, and when that server comes back up, I went ahead and logged into it. Yep, should be greeted with the server manager like before, but now it's going to ask you to install the Windows Admin Center. What are the new features in Windows Server 2019? And just to show you that this is actually Windows Server 19 and not pulling your leg, uh, if we open up the open up the settings, go to system, go to about, we should now see that we are now running Windows Server 2019 data center. So that is how you upgrade uh, from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and remember that Enterprise's Software Solution is your number one software dudes. Thanks for watching.